Garth, what are your thoughts on the case against Julian Assange? I'm uh, very concerned about the case. I think something very odd's going on. It's not being publicised very much. Here is a man who, as a journalist, has released um, information that tell us about war crimes, horrendous war crimes that we all saw from the US Army and killing civilians and so on. And it seems like the US is controlling the trial or attempting to. I hope it won't, but at the, uh, in the end. But I'm afraid there seems to be such silence that one wonders, is this a conspiracy and they want him put away? But if we put away someone who has um, basically told the truth about what's going on um, in the world and in, the, in conflict situations and so on, then I think we're in real trouble. And every journalist, I think, is more vulnerable. Why do you think the mainstream media has been silent on the issue, on the trial? I think the establishment is quiet. And the establishment wants to please America because it's the big universal player and has its military in hundreds of countries all around the world. And therefore, if America says, no, we want to punish this guy, um, then they don't like to say, well, you can't. And I think we have to call on everyone who um, is concerned about human rights, concerned about democracy, concerned about integrity, to raise their voices at this point, because it looks like the mainline media won't be covering it much at all. Um, but we, you can find out quite easily what is going on, because some people are very faithfully covering it. Who would you recommend? Well, I mean, these are sort of journalists in a way of a, um, I, I, Jonathan Cook, who um, lives up in Nazareth, has been covering this very well. Um, Craig Murray, who is used to be a uh, British ambassador, is covering it and going to the trial. John Pilger has been to see it, and he's a great champion of all sorts of issues of human rights. And he's, he's spoken very clearly about this. And I suppose that we also have to hope that the Australian government might take a stand uh, to support him because he is an Australian. But I think we are, we're facing something if we brutally allow a man to be taken away and put in jail for life because he did the journalistic thing and exposed deeply immoral um, behavior by uh, US, the US Army um, and all sorts of other things. But these, are, these were big issues. It means we're in real trouble. And I'd like to see others pick it up and uh, so that MPs begin to realize we can't just let this slide. Are you optimistic? I'm not optimistic, but um, I'm concerned. I think we really need to stir the pot more about it because otherwise um, manipulation will happen. And he won't be the last. He won't be the last. This will start all sorts of things. So it's, it's time. Um, I'd be more optimistic if more people pick it up and say something about what's going on. Carl, thank you very much. Thank you.